Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is the Team Tiny Tea Time Coffee or Tea Card Hop. Here we go. Using Pink Fresh Studios, Versa Mark, Memento Tuxedo Black, Crunchy Leaf Lawn Fawn, which is Copic Safe, Nina 80 Pound, Pink Fresh Diamond Background, Copic Lawn Fawn, Thanks a Latte, I'm going to be stamping using my original Misty and I took out the foam board because it's a red rubber stamp instead of a cling. And this diamond stamp is ingenious because you can take it out and use different colors. You'll see me use four different colors and that's why I'm using four of the diamonds and it fits perfectly on an, the A2 size Nina Classic Crest Solar White 80 pound. The first one was done with the lightest color, cleaning off the stamp and I'm leaving the bigger stamp and I'm putting in the smaller one so that it's lined up correctly. All the items that I use will be linked in the description below and I'm not going to be popping it up on my screen anymore. Let me know if you prefer me to do both. I will always link in the description but let me know if you'd like me to pop it on the screen. Again, the next layer I put in the smaller stamp and then I took out the bigger stamp. This is a reminder. I would love it if you would like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. This helps us small channels immensely. Also, if you could watch the video from um, beginning to end without fast forwarding. Thank you so much. You can see I made a little smudge in the middle. I pressed it too hard, but it won't matter because I'll be covering it up. Now I'm using the thank my Thanks a Latte Lawn Fawn stamp set, and I'm using the um, more delicate cup, not the mug, but the coffee cup. And I'm a coffee drinker more than a tea drinker, so I'm. This is will be a coffee um, card, and I'm. Uh, stamping three images. I'll only be using two, but I stamp one extra just in case I mess up. And I did. This is the Crunchy Leaf Lawn Fawn um, ink pad. And I really like it because it's Copic friendly. So instead of black, like my Memento, I like using this. So I'll be stamping it twice for my latte art. And that's the one I screwed up. I did that free range and I tried to go over it, but I couldn't get it to line up. And excuse my head that keeps popping in. I had to get a bird's eye view. And you can see that there is a little um, gap where the cream or the latte art is and the cup. But we'll be fixing that later. I'm using three um, shades per cup. And this is sped up really quickly again. Super simple coloring. Again, my go-to is medium, sorry, light, medium, and dark. And I'm putting the light all over the cup and the medium, maybe one third. And the dark, I put about one fourth and I go back and lighten everything up and blend it and just keep doing it until it's, uh, I like it. I like leaving the middle um, light as a highlight. Um, so it looks like a rounded vessel which is what a cup is. Gives it a little more dimension. Doing the same thing with the orange. Now to fix the latte art, now I'm using E50 for the milk part. And because it's a uh, Copic friendly ink, you can color over it with a Copic and you don't have to worry about it. And now I'm using my favorite Sakura Jelly Roll 10 to clean up the mistakes and give it some highlight. And I'll be using my brother Scan and Cut SDX 125 to cut it out again because I don't have dies for this set. Now I'm thinking, what am I gonna do? That's too plain. So I brought out my Altenew Thanks die, which is so delicate. And I'm going to also be, um, using the regular rounded Altenew, which matches this size. And I cut that out of regular lightweight vellum. And I'm going to glue that really delicate, thanks, 
which is cut out of Gina K. Charcoal Brown, um, onto the vellum. It took a little fiddling, but it worked. So now I'm auditioning how what I want, and I'm going to be stamping a latte on the same Gina K. Charcoal Brown using Versamark, as I will be embossing this with Brutus Monroe Alabaster White embossing powder and my dual speed um, and dual heat gun from Wagner. I'll be using a Swiffer tool again to clean up and it gets rid of the powder. And because this is such a thin piece of um, card stock, it was hard for me to use my guillotine trimmer. So I'm using my handy dandy old school Fiskars wire cutter or wire trimmer. And I'll be putting that right under the cups using my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive Glue. I'm using my Tim Holtz Glass Media Mat to line it up using the grid up behind it. And I was going to use my Big Fat Mama um, foam tape, but it was too high, too thick. So I'm going to be using the Doris, um foam tape, which is a lot thinner. So you can see I put it on but I take it off and then I put it back on uh, using the Doris. And the green turquoise, um, I just uh, glued it flat using the um, glue. And again, this is one of my favorite foam tapes. It comes in strips and it's so wonderful. I just wanted to mention that Team Tiny is a hop, is a hashtag hop driven um, team. And we have hops every month. And if you click on the hashtag in the description, you'll find all the videos by the wonderful content creators. We are all very small, so we don't have ads. And you can binge watch all you want without uh, watching the ads. Okay, back to the card. I'm using an adhesive eraser to get rid of any sticky. Now this is a 110 pound Nina card base. And it'll be a top folding card. So it was um, four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. And now I am just gluing it on the base, which I cut with my favorite A2 layers die set from Waffle Flower. And I'll be hiding the glue behind all the, um, so they won't show in the vellum, through the vellum. But I wanted the top, so I'm putting three dots on the top because it was loose and I'll be putting um, jewels behind or in front of it to hide the glue. These jewels are new to me from Pink Fresh and I really like them. I love this um, brown colored. It's iridescent and brown and just so yummy. That little triangle tray, if you shake it, all the um, beads go right side up so if they're upside down like I'm going to shake it in a little bit and they all go right side up it's amazing it's sold in my shop it's amazing anyway there's the card I hope you enjoy hopping along with team tiny and thank you for coming back and watching and I hope you enjoyed it have a wonderful day thanks so much bye